IPANSA is the Australian Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety Agency. We're the federal government's primary authority on radiation health issues. Ultraviolet radiation or UV radiation is produced by the sun and it's a form of energy. And the sun actually produces three different types of radiation or energies. One of those is visible light, another one is infrared radiation and that's what we feel as heat. And the third type is UV radiation and we can't see or feel UV radiation. UV radiation can penetrate to a certain depth within your skin. It won't go all the way through your body like an X-ray does. It can be absorbed in the layers of skin and cause uh, chemical changes which can lead to DNA damage. And if that damage is not repaired by normal bodily functions, then that can go on to cause issues such as cancer. The UV index is categorised into a number of different numbers that can help us know when it's safe to be outside and outdoors or when we need to apply sun protection. Anything that is three or above means that it is recommended that we apply sun protection. The UV index is different at certain times of day and that's more related to the location of the sun. So when the sun is directly above us, that's when the UV index is higher. In collaboration with the Bureau of Meteorology and Cancer Council Victoria, our PANSA was involved in developing the Global SunSmart UV app. So this is an app that you can download to your phone and at any time of the day you're able to see the UV index in your current location. It can be cool, it can be cloudy and the UV can still reach high levels just as we might see on a warm or sunny day. So it's really important to check the UV index every time you're planning on being outdoors. And certainly when it is hot, the UV often is high, but they're not related in that sense at all. Certainly in Australia, we have some of the highest UV index levels. Australia is closer to the equator. We have thinner ozone in the atmosphere near Australia. Basically, the ozone blocks the UV. Pollution actually is something that blocks and absorbs UV radiation. So the fact that we have less pollution in our air means that more UV radiation gets through to us.